two until three minutes in the kickboxing ring with me this time. Yeah, this new sport also thing. How was it finished? Oh, sorry. Finished. I'm gonna ask him if you want to December, bro. Cry you will see, Ooh, my friend. No. It's difficult to knock yeah. somebody out in the second if you get knocked out in the first, you know? But we'll see. Come on, yeah. We'll see. Exactly. When these two threw down at the press conference. Hottie's disrespect incensed Peter Graham, causing a riot like none ever seen in K1's history. As uh, you may or may not know, my friend Butter already declined the MMA fight with me, so I'm just waiting for any of the other fighters to step up. MMA fight, you're always welcome. Thanks very much. Butter, please, if you'd like to respond. Just this, Butter Hottie. バダハリ選手に挑戦状を叩きつけようかと思ったら嫌だと言われたのでどうでしょうバダハリ選手なんかコメントがあるようなんですが。I had a fight with Alistair Overeem, like everybody knew. He won that fight. It's strange for us as kickboxers that this guy. Wins from two strong guys in the K1. He did a good job, so good thing for him. But if he gets through the first fight against Teixeira, then I promise that he won't make it to until three minutes. In the kickboxing ring, with me this time. Oh! I praat over old school and new school. I weet het niet. Ik ben 31. Hij praat over alsof ik 41 ben. Maar toen ik zijn leeftijd was, sloeg ik jongens zoals Sam Schild al helemaal tot los. En Peter Aas met alle respect. En Ray Sefo. En noem ze maar allemaal op. Ik heb een heel rijtje allemaal gehad. Dus ja. Maar voel je je nog 31? Ja, ik voel me zeker 31. Ik ben met die jaren een stuk wijzer geworden. Ik voel ook dat mijn lichaam een stuk sterker is geworden. Mijn spieren zijn een stuk volwassener. Ik voel me goed. En uh, wat ik je zeg, hij heeft me uit mijn bed getrokken. En hij zal het krijgen ook. Hij zei net uh, een fun fight. Volgens mij. Ja, er bestaat geen fun fight. Weet je, dan zit je in de verkeerde sport. Weet je, er bestaat een fun uh, tenniswedstrijdje. Maar er is geen fun uh, vechtpartijtje. Begrijp je? Dus ik sla hem gewoon tot los 10 december. En klaar is Kees. Dat zijn jouw woorden. Dat zijn zeker mijn woorden, en niet de Janus. Het was in uh, 2015, augustus. En Rico heeft de laatste elf gevechten gewonnen. En zijn laatste gevecht was vorige maand. Okay, dus Hoe gaan... denk je dat je het gaat aanpakken? Ik kan je deze vertellen, ja. Kijk, ik weet niet of je kickboxliefhebber bent of niet. Of dat ze je gewoon een papiertje hebben meegegeven. En je denkt, ik ga nu even vertellen wat de feiten zijn. Ik denk dat het de tweede is. Ik heb het even opgezocht. Oké, okay, goed zo. Dus je kent de feiten niet zo heel goed. Maar ik ga het je bij deze vertellen. Want ik ben wel kickboxfan en ik ben kickboxer en ik weet wat de feiten zijn. Ik denk dat Rico een partijtje of 50 heeft of zo, 55, 60, laat het maar zoveel zijn. Waarvan heeft hij er misschien, denk ik, 5, 6, 7, ik weet niet. Hoeveel, heeft hij, hoeveel heb je er op elkaar gewonnen? Hoeveel zijn het er nu? Het zijn er niet zoveel in ieder geval, hè? Nee, het is net zoveel als dat hij praat. Dus, uh, en ik denk dat wat hij in totaal een partij heeft gevochten, die heb ik allemaal al op elkaar gewonnen. Dus als we de cijfers gaan bekijken. Maar wedstrijden zijn geen cijfers. Wedstrijden zijn wedstrijden. En er kan van alles gebeuren, mits je niet goed genoeg traint. Dus over de feiten gesproken denk ik dat ik goed in een daglicht sta. Ik heb minder gevochten, dat is waar. Maar als je naar grote boksers kijkt, zoals Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, die vecht ook niet zes keer per jaar. Weet je? Als het salaris goed genoeg is, vecht ik het liefst één keer in de drie jaar. Want niemand kiest ervoor om elke keer te knokken. Er komen zoveel blessures bij kijken, er zoveel dingen bij kijken. Dus ik denk dat ik je de feiten nu wel een beetje heb uitgelegd, denk je niet? Foto mee van jouw lijf en... Uh... Half jaartje geleden. En dit is jouw lijf nu. En ik vraag me af, hè, over een half jaartje is het zomer, we willen allemaal fit en strak zijn. Hoe heb jij dit gedaan? Oké, okay, ik ga je eerst één vertellen. Ik heb, ik heb een vraag voor jou. Hangen die boven je bed of niet? <laughs> I'm, uh, Mag ik jou hierna even buiten spreken? Ja, <laughs> en uh, had Ronaldo nog advies voor je? Die was jaloers op hoe ik eruit zag. <laughs> ja, new school, old school. Ik vind Johan Kruip beter dan Messi. <laughs> ja, het is uh, old school. Wat ik je zeg, ik ben 31. Ik weet niet hoe oud het is, maar volgens mij is hij een jaartje of 26, 27. 
je je dat, uh, waar hebben we het over? Weet je, na je dertigste, dan kom je eigenlijk pas in de kracht van je leven. Dan word je volwassen. Weet je, het lichaam doet wat het moet doen. En uh, ja, we gaan het zien. Ja, yeah, this new school, old school thing. I wasn't finished. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm finished. <laughs> Laat ik dat ook eventjes een beetje die rook uit de lucht krijgen. Het is niet dat ik niet wil. Het is alleen dat ik in andere dingen denk. Ik denk in hele andere mogelijkheden. Waarin hij denkt dat het een fun fight is. En dat het allemaal voor de eer is en voor de grap. Ben ik natuurlijk gewoon een echte broodvechter. En geld is wat mij naar de ring toe krijgt. En natuurlijk als het een beetje motiveert ook nog. De reden waarom ik die wedstrijd niet heb gedaan natuurlijk. Is als ik hem straks in die eerste ronde nog uitsla. Ik zal het kort alvast vertellen, want hij kan hij zich klaarmaken voor volgend jaar en de rest van Glory. Als ik hem in de eerste ronde ook uitsla, dan is die gordel die hij heeft helemaal geen droom meer waard. Geen euro. Dus wat is de volgende wedstrijd? Dat we voor die titel moeten vechten natuurlijk. Voor het echtje dan deze keer. Dat is voor mij twee keer cash. Ik denk dit jaar en volgend jaar, als ik kort zo'n beetje aankijk. Laat maar zitten. Dus dat is, het, dat, dat is het hele idee achter die gordel. Waar hij denkt dat ik geen zin in vijf rondes heb, denk ik gewoon dat het twee keer een goede PD is. Dus uh, bij deze antwoord ik hem en jou ook gelijk, alsjeblieft. Dus dan is dat ook gelijk duidelijk voor u. Dat is het ritme wat hij natuurlijk wel heeft, want hij vecht uh, consequent en ik iets minder. Dus we proberen dat natuurlijk een beetje na te bootsen in uh, onze spanningssessies. Ik heb leuke jongens met wie ik spar. Wat ik zeg, we zijn goed aan de conditie aan het werken en uh, de kracht. En ja, weet je, hij was klaar, ik moet nog klaarkomen, ik weet ik veel, al die teksten. <laughs> maar... Here you go, Rico, do you want to say something? No, not really. You know, it's. Uh, I think this already shows his class. You know, um, I'm a I'm a true athlete, and I'm here. You know, I'm ready, and whatever. You know, it's. Uh, it is what it is. I don't see myself as a bad guy, but this is what the media creates. Uh, I help them a little bit, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But of course, I think in fighting sports, this is what, uh, what sells. And this is also uh, in everything that you have in life. You know, if you look at Batman, you need a Joker. And uh, there is always a good thing and a bad thing going on. So if he is good and I am bad, and it sells out the arenas, then let me be bad. So I'm good. I'm not really bothered with that. Thanks, and for you, brother? Jay just told me to come, so I came. <laughs> I see someone else in uh, here in the saal. It's, it's Mike, can you explain why he's here? I don't know, maybe you should ask him yourself. Well, Mike, can you tell us? All right, let's move on to the next question. We have one over here. Yeah, either way, he's gonna quit anyway, or he's gonna get knocked out. So, that's what's gonna happen the 21st of December. I was waiting for this moment in this conversation. He can go fuck himself. I'm gonna knock him out. The 21 December. <laughs> First, we're gonna see. We're gonna see that you said you said that last time. You said that last time. And what happened after the after after you you missed a few times? You're like, um, oh, now you want to speak Dutch this because guy, you this guy, you want to speak guy, Dutch. This. You want to speak Dutch because you can't be speaking English. Hey. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with you, but you need your brother army. All right, let's um, hang on, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get to the next question yeah. here. Um, <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it was a joke. Yeah, actually, so, the, actually, uh, the same as your Hesdi fight. It was also yeah, a joke. but Hesdi had a broken arm, and you you, 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 you couldn't beat him. Full. You couldn't beat both him. Both hands full. Getting, Hesdi, getting a suspension. Hesdi, Hesdi. <laughs> 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 
Has he had a broken arm when you fought him and you couldn't beat him? He had a broken arm. You couldn't lift his hand and you couldn't knock him out. Come on, yeah. but shh. shh. I beat him and I was 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 a light heavyweight and I beat Hezdi. I was fucking hundred kilos and I beat him. So come on, man. <laughs> oh you, man, you talk too much, yeah, bro. You, you, you talk go too much. Twenty one, twenty one. You go to one hundred fifteen kilos. Twenty one December. Twenty one December, my bro. Twenty one December. Yeah, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Twenty one December, bro. You're gonna cry again. You will see, my friend. Now, is it my left or is it my right arm? Is it my left or I don't you know. We'll see. You We're gonna see. You We're act. gonna see. Nobody, everybody knows. You act. 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 You Don't try to be somebody you're not. 21, bro. You're not a fighter. You're not a fighter. December, you're not a, you have a very, very small December, heart. Very December, small heart. 21 December. Yeah, make sure you fight. Yeah, I'll be there, motherfucker. Make sure you fight December. and don't stop 21 crying. 21 December. Because, yeah, it depends on what kind of opponent you're fighting. So, last time we were fighting a big butter. Now we're fighting a small butter. So, you're fighting a dangerous things, butter, my things friend. Were dangerous. Small. Things, things dangerous. will change. <laughs> things will change. What? What you, 21 what? December. 21 December. So shut your mouth. Just let me answer the question. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need your butter army, huh? <laughs> oh. You should be happy with the butter army. They're the only one buying tickets and coming to see you, bro. Yeah, they, you make, think they, so? they give you money, bro. You, you should be so? happy, bro. <laughs> I know so. I know so. They pay, they pay tickets, bro. They buy tickets. Hey, let's let's, they let's buy check tickets. the glory stats. Let's, let's check the glory, the glory stats. stats. Hey, who they who pay, sell more they tickets, tickets, you or me? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you probably paid for all of them. Yeah, I do. I make enough money to pay hey, for all of you're them. You're going to send them to the ring again? Yeah, they come. Yeah, you're going to send them to the ring again? You come or not? A jula majusta sabi. Yalla! A jula majusta sabi. Yalla sabi. Yeah, you need that. Uh, of course I need that. Of course you need that. It's my, uh, it's my But the problem is when you're in the ring yeah. between the ropes, you yeah. got to do it all by yourself. Yeah, a lot of yeah, people Then it's going to be a yeah. really tough job. You talk a lot. Yeah, you talk yeah. a lot. You don't talk enough. Yeah, you, you just knock, cry. You, you knock two people out, bro. You talk too loud. <laughs> yeah, man. Prediction, Benny. What will happen on Saturday, December 19th? I knock him out second round. It's difficult to knock somebody out in the second if you get knocked out in the first, you know. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. Come on, yeah. <laughs> we'll see exactly. 19th December, brother. What kind of bar are we going to see next weekend? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have to tell people. Uh, Which bother they're going to see? They're they're already seeing me for uh, 20 years knocking people out, and uh, that's it. Next week the same, you know. There's the only thing uh, Dennis Crowell or Rico can teach him is that I hit hard, and when I hit him, he hit the ground. So uh, that's it. Let's keep it simple. Let's not talk too much. And uh, you know, December 19, a couple more days. Father, what's your reaction to that? That he basically has labeled you one of the greatest ever as a quitter. Yeah, I think I think he speaks the truth. You know, he's been watching me for a long time. So I think he saw the fight with Zimmerman. He saw the fight with Karayev. He saw the fight with Alistair. He saw all the fights I quit. You know, so. Uh, I think he did his homework very well. So if he thinks I'm a quitter, we'll see. You know, this guy is, this guy is easy money, bro, next week. Easy money, bro. I'm telling you, this is a walk in the park, December 19. What will you do differently this fight than you did against Rico? Nothing, bro. I do the same. I just come, I hurt them. You know, I hit them hard. I keep hitting them hard. Uh, you know, if you have so many knockouts, believe me, you know, he knows. He knows I hit hard. Everybody knows I hit, I hit hard. They all know it. When I hit you, you go down. You know, his partner, training's partner, they all know it, you know. Legends that he was only look up to, that he, he was fan of, they went knockout. When I hit you, you go. That's it. When I hit you, you go. You know, so he, he will see, he will see, you know. Let's not talk too much. You know, this is internet, uh, you know, I don't, you know, we are all heroes in the internet. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people, you know, so December 19. Bro, I don't respect him, bro, you know, uh, you know uh, maybe as a human or, uh, you know. 
if uh, the fight is over. But uh, for now, uh, he's my enemy, you know. So uh, pff, there is no, uh, pff, there is no respect in this game. There's only hate, violence, and you know, knocking people out. That's it. What will they see when they watch? watch. Yeah, they'll watch. They'll see. I will knock him out first round. First round KO. And what is your prediction, Benny? What will happen on Saturday, December 19th? I knock him out second round. It's difficult to knock yeah. somebody out in the second if you get knocked out in the first, you know? But we'll see. Uh, yeah. Come on, yeah. <laughs> we'll see, exactly. 19th December, brother. You know, I've been in the game for a long time and kickboxing been going up and down. You know, we had some big organization who went bankrupt and stopped, you know, when the K1 stopped, everything started different. Then Glory came, then I didn't fight, then I went to jail. You know, my, my life is a fucking story, you know? And, and, I, and I had a lack of rhythm, you know? No rhythm, no fighting, you know? Sometimes I fight. Sometimes not, sometimes inside the ring, sometimes outside the ring. <laughs> you know, it's, it's been a fucking hard life, you know. <laughs> but I'm here though, you know, so I'm still, I'm still training hard. And like I said, you know, with this, with this new change that I made in team, I think it's the best choice that I could make until now. Because losses make you humble. That's it. That's it, bro. It's that simple. I can tell you a whole fucking story over here, but there is none. If you lose, you shut up. You get humble. You make sure with the mistakes you made, you fix them. You, you make sure you learn from this mistake. And you know, wait until I, until I win. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck being humble over. <laughs> no more questions for you anymore. <laughs> And all, uh, but, all your last fights were a bit the same. You started great first two yeah, rounds and yeah. then you get injured. Is it just unlucky or is that something you could pre can prevent? You know, no, I think this is just unlucky. You know, if you go to the casino and you play all the time, you know, you win sometimes, you lose sometimes. You know, this is life. There are a lot of things that make, that, that has to put in place. You know, you can train hard, you can eat well, you can sleep well, you can, you can do whatever you want. But at the end, you know, it's, it's a body, you know. You cannot, you cannot control all the, things in life, you know, some things are just, you know, if you believe in the universe, God, or whatever you believe in, it's up in his hands, and uh, yeah, inshallah, this time everything will be different, and uh, I feel very good, I feel very good. Uh, but I was telling, you know, that uh, you, you, need a, you need a dream to come to, to, to win from him. Are you, uh, do you think he's gonna put you asleep? Mm, yeah, you, yeah. Do you think butter is going to put you to sleep? Me? Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> why not? No, I, why? Because, you know, I don't know why. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> 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 Let's stay here today and focus on, 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 on. He got a very difficult name. <laughs> one, one time. Okay, uh, let's 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 focus on Arek, you know, I think. Okay. Yes. Aggressive. Yeah. Slappe is the round. Oh. Huh. Huh. Aggressive. Hmm. Eén grappen, één grappen. Morgen, Sribi, eerste ronde. Hmm. 